Hey, how's everyone doing? We're going to do an episode of Dave's Garage. We got our Leo Vinci, or as I'll do my best Chris Moore impression. We got here a Leo Vince exhaust pipe. <laughs> Love Chris. Guy's a cool dude. Really good tuner. So, but yeah, uh, it's Leo Vinci. It's, it's, it's Italian. Here's what we're going to do. We already did the video on the ECU. Got everything all back together up there. We got our mid pipe here. I'm going to use it in conjunction with the stock muffler. We got our clamps and O2 sensor bungs. If you wanted to, uh, let's see, hold on, I gotta adjust my freaking camera here. Let's do that a little bit. Pardon me. I'm going from selfie stick to uh, whatchamacallit tripod. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So here's what we gotta do. We've got our mid pipe here taken out of the packaging. Let's go over it real quick. It's really nice. Um, what I'm gonna do is put on a pair of rubber latex gloves. Not because I'm doing a prostate exam. I'm not saying I'm not gonna do a prostate exam, but um, I don't wanna get, it is titanium, so I don't wanna get fingerprints on it. So let's go ahead and move this here. Let me get some gloves. So otherwise then you gotta wipe it all down with bright cleaner and stuff so you don't get anything on any fingerprints that then get the oil burns in and leaves a stain on the titanium. So let's go ahead, let's aim this down a tiny bit. I think that's probably perfect. And so what we're going to do, put this out. This is, Leo Vinci makes really good stuff. So we've got the pipe and then it's got a resonator chamber. So that's going to take a little bit of the raspiness. Think of it as a mini muffler. It's not doing much to quiet down the noise. It's going to be loud, folks. But it is going to take some of that raspiness out. So what do we have in the package? Well, we got this. Pretty self-explanatory. It's going to go up here. It's going to mount to a bracket over there. Um, it also comes with O2 bung plugs. So if you were going to eliminate the O2 sensors and use these, they're drilled for safety wire, um, I'm going to just set those aside. Don't need them at this point because on this bike, you have to keep the O2 sensors at least plugged in. Now I could just tuck these up out of the way and plug that. I don't know, I'm, I'm just gonna put the damn things on. Um, there's really no point because in, for some reason on this bike, if the bike, even with the ECU flash, even though Chris has disabled them, if you, wow, that's a really nice, really nice finish. Very nice. Um, if you do that, you're gonna have, uh, let's see, put these up here? Should I put them underneath? I'm gonna put them down underneath. Yeah. So, anyway, slide these on each side. Make sure that those are gonna be facing outward. These are going to slide on. Something to get under here. But yeah, if you, uh, if you actually physically unplug, even though they're disabled in the software, what'll happen, and I might have to, fl oh, no, oh, these are going on. Sweet, I was going to have to flange them out a little bit. Although sometimes it actually helps you put a little WD-40 on there which I'm going to, should I do that? I think I can get it on all the way, let's see. It's gotta go up enough to get that bolt through. All right, that's gonna line up perfect. All right, cool, so wiggle that on. We'll tighten these up. Don't tighten these up until you tighten the bolt over there, which comes with a nut, this nut, not to be confused with these nuts. So what we have over here is right there. We're gonna need to put a bolt in there. So I'm assuming we're gonna take one of the existing bolts. And this, let's see, which one goes with the muffler? This one goes with the muffler, so we're gonna use one of the ones that came off 
the old, and that's going to go on that side. And then we're going to have to uh, use a box end wrench. So what do we need? We need, looks like a that size, six. We're going to put that on that side. And then I'm going to need a box end wrench. Let's see what size I need. It is, looks like a 13 mil. So of course I got a 12, let me go get a 13. Yes, I'm wearing pajamas. Been working all morning, this came, I'm doing this real quick on my lunch break, and then we're gonna fire it up, let it warm up. And I'm gonna ride it later. And see how it rides. Actually, you know what? We're gonna take this off for a second. We're gonna put that other washer. So I just put the nut on the other side. But I got extra bolts. So alright, let's put that washer on. And that is a not a lock nut. Well, yeah, it is actually. It's got a built. Tighten that bitch down. Yeah, I may even have to put a nut on the other side because that thing, or a wrench, because that thing's actually uh, working real well. So now we need to plug these in. So because we're going to turn them in clockwise, I don't want it bunching up too much. So what we're going to do is put a whole bunch of twists in this going the other direction so that as I screw this in, Oh, tore my glove. See how it's now untwisting it? So hopefully I put just enough twists into it that it's gonna be perfect. Look at that. Man, I am good. All right, so we'll put that in, and then I think I need a 17 mil, which is on the other side, to tighten that up. So we got that. We'll tighten that up in a second. While I'm on this side, let's just go ahead and put on the muffler. So we want to carefully make sure we got our everything all lined up in there. Huh. Tight fit. There we go, slowly, there we go, boom. This goes, uh, let's see, wait, where's the short bolt? That was this one up here. This one has a captive nut that's already built in. Screw that in, wiggle it down as far as it'll go. Oh, this is going on swimmingly well. Love it. Oh, is that the right size nut? Has to be. Yeah, there we go. It's all wiggling around a little bit, but don't worry, this is gonna tighten up real nice in a second. Push it all the way down, get it where you want. Tighten that. And now we go to this one, which, where is that? This one right here. Oops. All right. That is at a slightly wonky angle, not lining up right. So, loosen this. And let's loosen this just to see if we got any wiggle room down there. Probably shouldn't tighten anything up until you've actually got it all perfectly aligned. So let's get this one. Hmm. Is not lining up the way I would like. 
Makes me wonder if this is actually gonna fit or not. Should fit. All right, let's take this out and start over. Now you folks learn with me as I do this. So, All right, so that is on. This goes on. I need that to go inside. Start its clamping. Hmm. Let's remove this and start over. you know when this is done it's going to be really well anchored in a nice tight fit and who doesn't like that all right so let's start to tighten this one so that it can't pop out of the groove okay Now, let's put in this bolt. So we need to line that back up. This one tightened up first. Now let's tighten this one up. Okay. That one's tight. That one's tight. Still wiggles a little bit because we got to tighten this one. Okay, that one's tight. Tightening that. <clears throat> All right, we need to go to the other side, put in the O2 sensor, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna tighten those. Well, you know what, being that it's just the O2 sensor, let's just go ahead and tighten those now. No reason not to. And while I'm here, let me grab my 17 mil, just tighten that O2 sensor. You don't have to over torque these, just kind of go good. Because they're connected to the wire, it's not like they can unscrew on their own. Here, let's get these ready. You're gonna move these just like that. So you don't wanna see that hole on this side. You want it to just come over that lip. And you don't have to Really, I mean, you saw how hard it was to get those to slide on. This is a very good, precise fit. So you don't want to go crazy torquing them down. There's no way this thing's going to go anywhere. All right, so it's snugging up, snugging up. Yeah, I'll give it one more little bit of, eh, it's all it needs. Boom. So that's done, that's done, that's done. This, these two on the back are done. And now the thing's holding the way it should. Um, I guess, well, you know what? <laughs> While I'm here, let's, uh, does this cover fit? No, no longer fits. Don't worry about that, one less thing to do. All right, so here, I'm gonna get my 17 mil. All right, people, my people. All right, 
So we're going to turn it clockwise in, so we want to give it several twists in the other direction. You see it twisted all the way up here. That's good. Let's give it twists in the opposite direction. And then start screwing it in, which will take out the twists in the other direction. And then by the time it seats, yup, that's exactly what it's doing. Just go, uh, uh, that's all you need. And then you can work out. I mean, if you can get to the other end of this, if you want to pull the tank up, you could, as someone else, one of my viewers suggested, well, unplug it from the other end and then, you know, you can get the, the things out that way. I'm just doing it that way. I don't want to unplug them just because of the errors I've had. Granted, the bike isn't powered up and if you unplug it, then it should be fine. I'm just, you know what? I just don't feel like messing with it. All right, so now, all we have to do is again line it up so you don't see that hole. There shouldn't be any gaps because the pipe is going all the way down here, so you shouldn't have an exhaust leak there. But you want to just, you don't want to move it too far up because you want it, this is the end that where the cuts are that really clamps and grips. But for me, I don't know if it's just aesthetic or what, I just go like a millimeter over where that gap is. Get the thing, get all the tension out of it, you know, get it start to just snug up, but where you can, it's gripping, but you can still kind of wiggle it like that. Perfect. And then we just tighten it up. Last thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna get a paper towel and just put a little bit, all right, tight there, good. Just gonna wipe it down real quick with a paper towel, it's a great cleaner. Let's move my phone out of the way of danger. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just give it a quick wipe down, make sure there's no fingerprints on it. Then after a while, you're going to chain grease and you're going to get shit on your exhaust pipe just because of where it is. You run over dirty water or something in the road and it's going to, you know, leave some residue that's going to bake on anyway. So probably shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Let's just wipe it down just to not start the day with... fingerprints and whatnot. Okay. So now, taking off my gloves. Moment of truth. We tighten that, tighten that, tighten that. This is tight. Exhaust ain't going anywhere. Looks stock other than that piece. Let's start up and see what it sounds like. And then we have to go for a ride later. I'll probably throw it on the same video, so you'll see it together. Uh, can I start it without the clutch? Huh. It's not good. Do I have a code I gotta clear? Maybe I gotta pull the clutch in? Let's see, hold on a second. That is peculiar. Is there some other code? Can't put this down. Hold on a second. Huh. There we go. I don't know, maybe the clutch has to be pulled in. It'll let it crank without, I don't know, that doesn't make any sense, but. terribly obnoxious. It's not that much louder than stock. It's a little deeper. I'm going to let it warm up for a minute. And I have a feeling it's going to be a different ball game when I crack that throttle open. Why? 
Oh, because I plugged in my battery charger. Bloody, bloody brilliant. So I'll turn off the fan so I can get that, some of that noise out of here. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna go eat, and I got a somewhat large presentation to do, and I should be able to go for a little ride after that, depending on how that goes. So we'll go out and go a ride. What's up, Leo? New exhaust day. What? New exhaust day. Oh, really? That's, what's That's Leo. Hey. <laughs> so, um, listen to this shit. Nice. Yeah. That's good stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's good stuff. I can't wait to get out and rip on that later and see how it rides. That's, that's gonna sound nice. All right, everybody. That's it for Dave's Garage for now. We'll get you a ride review later.
Just in time, dogs. Just in time.